Hello everyone. This is the beginning of a series of video tutorials on MindWave Function Collapse 3D Plug. The plugin is designed for tile generation. What does this mean? Space is broken down into a uniform grid. A cell of such a grid is called a tile. The tile has the same size in the X and Y axes. We will call it tile size. And the Z axis can take any size. We'll call it the height of the tile. A tile is a cell of space. Wave function collapse is an algorithm inspired by the ideas of quantum mechanics. According to one such idea, there is a set of possible states for each tile. However, under the influence of the environment, a tile gets one of the possible states. This exposure comes at the cost of specifying multiple possible neighbors of the types of a tile with each other. A tile can have neighbors in six directions, front and back on the x-axis, left and right on the y-axis, and bottom to top on the z-axis. After installing the plugin in the engine, it should be enabled. Go to Edit, under Plugins. Find Wave Function Collapse 3D. The check mark must be enabled. Turn it on and reload the engine. The plugin folder will then appear. In engine slash plugins, find the folder Wave Function Collapse 3D content. There are five folders in it. The Blueprints folder. It contains blueprints for lighting, dungeon room generation, room environment generation, character, and game mode. Next is the Geometry folder. Here are the meshes of tiles to surround the dungeon rooms. And here are meshes of the tiles for the rooms themselves. And then a folder with levels with generation examples. Two examples. Then the folder with the generation settings. I'll talk about that in the next few videos. And the folder with the tile type settings. I'll talk about those in the next few videos as well. Let's take a look at the levels with generation examples. The first level demonstrates one of the simplest generation, which consists of just one type of tile. Let's click on it. There is a generating button. We can see the different options for generating. It consists of just one type of tile. We can find the geometry of the tile. It consists of one such corner. And you get this pattern. I'll tell you how it's made in the next few videos. Next level. Dungeon rooms. This is a more complex generation, with more tile types. Let's click on the generation. There are also buttons to generate. We can look in any of the rooms. Room environment generation is also present here. We can click on that. Two buttons are also available. We can see different options for generating room environments. We can run it to get an inside look.
we can look at the different generation results. Actor has an actor component that sets the dimensions of the generation. Right now the size is 30 by 30 on the X and Y axis. And there's two on the Z axis. You can do one floor and increase the size in X and Y. That's it for now. In the next video, we'll break down the setup of the new tile type. Thank you all.